There's been some crazy ups and downs throughout the stock market's history, but nothing quite what we've been like what we've been experiencing in 2020 so far. In 2020, we witnessed the fastest bear market descent in all the history of the stock market. But that was even followed by an even more impressive rally, which actually has stocks at an even higher gain than they, what they were at, sitting at earlier this year. And of course, the big question everybody is asking is where are we going to go from here? Your guess, my friend, is as good as mine. If there's one thing I've learned over the course of this year with the stock market's crazy ups and downs is that holding great companies is both the safest and most securest way to make income in the stock market. And I personally believe that the best way to build wealth in the stock market is with dividend investing. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Robin here. Welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys two high yield dividend based stocks that I think are great buys right now. And if you guys missed my previous video I did a couple days ago, I highlighted three undervalued Canadian dividend stocks to buy. So check that video out if you missed it. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys one US based stock. And then after the US stock, we're going to go with the Canadian stock. And the two stocks I'm going to recommend that you guys buy today are going to be AT&T and Canadian Tire. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about AT&T. So AT&T is one of the most famous dividend growth based stocks of all time. So at the time of recording this video, AT&T stock is currently trading at $30 US a share and has a nice juicy high dividend yield of about 6.91%. That's pretty much the definition of a high yield dividend stock right there. Now, AT&T might be past its big booming stage, uh, so to speak, but I still think it's a really, really good stock to invest into if you guys want to pick up a nice dividend uh, growth based stock. And I also think that there is room for, for growth with A&T over the near future. But the thing to remember is when you have a stock like AT&T that's sitting at a dividend yield of 7%, you don't really need a lot of growth because a lot of the income you're going to make is actually off the dividend yield alone. Now the good news about AT&T is that they do have plans to increase uh, their coverage of the 5G network, so those should be coming out over the next little while, and although that might cost them a little bit of money up front, it should net them a lot of revenue and income over the next couple years as the new technology rolls out. So in the end, if consumers are using more data, which they have been uh, during the pandemic, then that means more money and more income and more revenue for AT&T. And even though earlier this year, AT&T cut back on their buyback program, what they have not done is decrease their dividends. And this is the most important thing when it comes to high yield dividend stocks. So generally speaking, you want dividend stocks that are consistent, high yield, and you can depend on to increase their dividends and keep those dividends in the long run. And just bringing up some basic stats here on Yahoo Finance, we can see that AT&T has a market cap of 214 billion, which means that this is one of the biggest companies in the US. See in the bottom right hand side here that their earnings have actually gone quite a bit up over the course of a couple years. Uh, they had a big dip in 2017, then things went down a little bit, but we can still see that overall it's increasing. And if we go quarterly, we can also see that there's good signs of quarterly increases over time as well. At the beginning of 2019, we saw a nice little increase of 3.71 billion, then we went up to 3.7 billion, and then the, towards the end, it was a bit of a decrease. But the nice thing I really like about this here is that going into the first quarter of 2020, when you know a lot of companies are suffering losses, uh, AT&T saw an increase of 4.61 billion. So going into the future, I think this company is going to do really, really well and be a good solid uh, dividend based company to invest into. And if we look at AT&T's payout ratio, we can see that they're sitting at about a 60% payout ratio, which is a little bit on the high side uh, over the past 12 months, but this is okay. It's not too, too crazy. Um, we just have to kind of keep an eye on this, but you know what, with a dividend growth and a consecutive dividend increase history like AT&T has, I don't think we really have to worry about this. I think their payout ratios are pretty solid right now, and this basically means that they're putting 60% of their uh, revenue into their dividends, and then they're keeping the rest to invest into the company, which is always a good thing. So overall, if you're looking for a solid high dividend yield US-based company, I think AT&T is a solid pick, and always has been, and probably will be going strong into the future. Future. In fact, AT&T is probably one of these stocks that I'm going to be adding to my dividend portfolio over the next couple weeks. So if you guys are watching this video, let me know what you guys think of AT&T and are you buying AT&T in the comments below. 
Okay, so now let's spend a little bit of time talking about one of my favorite Canadian companies, Canadian Tire. And the funny thing about all this is there's nothing more Canadian about Canadian retail than Canadian Tire. So here's one super cool statistic about Canadian Tire is that they've raised their dividend over 107% in the past five years. That is a 21% increase on average per year. That's very significant div dividend increases. And the nice thing about Canadian Tire is once again, this is another company that actually held up quite quite well over the course of the pandemic that's been going on over the past couple months. This suggests that the worst is behind and Canadian Tire will probably flourish and do well going into the future. And I do believe going into the future and towards the end of 2020 and into 21, 2021, I do think Canadian Tire is going to see some solid growth. Long term, Canadian Tire's dividend growth has been pretty solid and pretty impressive. And I'm a big fan of Canadian Tire switching kind of towards uh, their new e-commerce program, which I think e-commerce is the way of the future, especially when it comes to retail. Uh, e-commerce is really starting to take over. And I think any companies that can can make the shift towards online selling, uh, specifically retail, I think are going to do really, really well. You know, all we have to do is look at companies like Amazon and whatnot, and we can see that they did really good online. They did really good uh, switching over to online. So I think any kind of retail companies, uh, specifically in Canada, and think we're, since we're a little bit behind, some of the countries in Europe and whatnot that have all switched to being online, I think the companies that can do more online work and do more e-commerce work are going to succeed going into the future. Here's another interesting fact about Canadian Tire as a company. They have over 1,700 locations all across Canada. That's a lot of stores. So even though Canadian Tire's earnings have been down in the first quarter of 2020, uh, it's important to note that Retail as a whole has actually taken a major hit and Canadian Tire actually isn't too doing too bad in the grand scheme of things. So even though if you looked at this on paper and you did some basic assessments, you'd probably think that Canadian Tire is not doing so great because their earnings have been down. But in the reality, everybody's earnings across the board are down and Canadian Tire in the grand scheme of things are actually not too bad. At the time of recording this video, Canadian Tire is currently trading at 118 shares on the stock exchange. There is sitting at a dividend yield of about 3.84%. And even though this isn't a high, even though this isn't a high yield dividend, I do think that because of their major increases over the past couple of years, we could see Canadian Tire going into the future being a solid dividend company and a very high yield company uh, for any dividend investor. And the nice thing about Canadian Tire, and I think this is uh, really nice to see is that their payout ratio is actually quite low sitting at 35% so it looks as if their dividend uh, is very very safe and I think going into the future because they're putting uh, so much money towards growing the company and less towards their dividend I think we can definitely count on Canadian Tire as being a, rely a reliable company for dividend investing. Overall I think these two stocks are very solid picks and I think if you're going to buy a US stock right now I'd probably go with AT&T and if you're thinking about a Canadian based uh, dividend stock I would highly recommend Canadian Tire. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of this video. Let me know what you guys think of AT&T and Canadian Tire. Would you guys buy them? Are you buying them this week? If not, let me know what stocks you guys are buying. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who watched this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do me a big favor and give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more Canadian-based content, more dividend-based content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have yourself a good day, and I'll see you guys later.